as you all might know, as some of the utilities can be up down to the end of the other. Utilities are large bureaucratic um, entities that move really slowly. Uh, they demand uh, a lot. They take a lot of time to make decisions and have, have very uh, long sales cycles, or so the conventional wisdom says. And as you will hear today from our panel, it's not so. Utilities are large organizations, but they are under a lot of pressure to provide reliable service to their customers. They are also focused on the reliability and efficiency of the grid and maintaining the safety of their own crew. They also have to constantly look into the future. They have to look into the future of energy supply and um, new technology, new business practices to meet the environmental and re uh, regulatory requirements. There are some, some uh, interesting technologies that utilities are involved with. Smart grid, wind and solar power, electric vehicle, demand response, uh, energy storage. And as you'll see from our panel, there are a lot of interesting opportunities for vendors of all sizes to help them identify the technology, to select them and implement the system and new, new technology without uh, disturbing the grid and without disturbing the, real, the reliability of the grid. Planning for the future and looking forward to implementing new technology as it comes around. We will hear today from three panelists, I, the perspective of a local utility, uh, PG Sound Energy, a perspective of a small vendor uh, who was for a long time in Star mode, and the perspective of a large company uh, who has been in this space for uh, decades. And here are the, uh, what they will be talking about is uh, looking at uh, how do you manage resources and how do you manage product development from a uh, vendor side and how do you integrate all this with the utilities budget cycles and purchasing cycles? How do you educate the utility customer on your company's offering? What, if, what are the best ways to really give them a large perspective on what's out there and how your services or your products are helping them move forward? And then most importantly afterwards, after the sale, is maintaining their relationship. So you'll hear the perspective of both sides. And uh, without further ado, I would like to introduce your, um, our own panelists. Uh, Patrick is the uh, Emerging Technology Program Manager for Puget Sound Energy and is responsible for evaluating the possibility, risks, and benefits and market potential for numerous technologies such as electric vehicles, solar, energy storage, fuel cells, and others. Uh, Patrick has worked uh, for uh, PSC for three years and was previously a financial, uh, performed financial analysis on power plant acquisitions. And I, I still don't understand this part. Why did you move from, uh, to Seattle from Bahamas? He sold solar and wind power systems in the Bahamas. So um, you'll have to explain that at some point. <laughs> um, he holds an MBA from University of Washington and a BA from Dartmouth. Um, John represents our uh, startup uh, our vendor. And he is an established senior executive with 25 years of entrepreneurial experience, establishing, financing, leading, and operating uh, companies. He currently advises and serves on the board of several early stage companies in the telecommunication and software industries. At Great Point, a small grid company, uh, John served as a executive vice president for operations with responsibilities for driving the operational excellence, for supporting the initial process, and delivering professional services and support throughout the customer's life cycle. As president and CEO of e 2 Green, a leading electric vehicle management company, which was acquired by uh, Gridpoint, he was responsible for the company's uh, strategic vision and 
operational development, delivering a 15x return on the investment. That's pretty phenomenal. Hmm. Previously, John was based in London as a senior VP, now <coughs> managing director for Europe for telecommunication system. Uh, a provider of infrastructure and services to the wireless uh, telecommunications industry worldwide. He's also served as Vice President of Operations and Development for XY Point and is the founder and uh, president of uh, Tolkri Cellular. He holds a degree in uh, computer science and business uh, administration, magna cum laude from Washington, uh, Western Washington University. And Ethan uh, is the director of business development for IDMS, which is the integrated um, distribution management system for Austin Grid. Uh, Ethan has been involved in the development and delivery of energy management systems for over 25 years and has worked on both the transmission and distribution side of um, our products. He was with ESCA, Sagelec, Arriva, Alstom, TND, and then uh, now Alstom Grid is the same company folks. <laughs> <laughs> He received uh, uh, a bachelor, uh, a bachelor's degree, a master's degree in electrical engineering from the University of Washington, and he is very active in the uh, IEC TC57 working group 14, which is actually the one that um, focuses on common information model for distribution. You might have heard of CIMA. So the format of today's uh, panel, um, I ask all the panelists to, to make a statement at the beginning, and then we'll take questions from the audience, and uh, um, we'll, we'll go from there. So, please. Can to all right. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much for the opportunity to come today and uh, sharing your time. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the process selling large software systems to electric utilities and the experience, and particularly from the perspective that I come from. So we sell, um, Daniela referred to them as network management systems. That's one area of our business. So a bit of background, there's about 350 people in our software center of excellence in Redmond, Washington. Originally we were ESCA, which stood for Energy Systems Computer Applications. Started in the late 70s and then um, was acquired by the French company Sedulac and we've had several French owners since then. Now we're probably Alstom and Alstom is well known for making the, the high speed trains, the TGV trains, but uh, we're in their electrical engineering grid management part of the business. They also make transformers and uh, large scale electrical hardware for the utilities and protection. But from a software perspective, the types of systems we sell, we refer to as energy management systems. Um, a core component of that are SCADA, which stands for Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition. Uh, we build systems for managing, monitoring, controlling the transmission level of uh, electric utilities, uh, the distribution level, which is where I'm focused, so about 13, 15 kV down to the houses. So I'm very close to the, a lot of the work that's going on in the, it's referred to as smart grid area. Um, and then we also make market management systems. So systems for the, the, trans <coughs> the transactions of uh, power sales between utilities and the wholesale market power. So my perspective is focused, as I said, on the distribution management system. And the, those systems have a core component the SCADA, the data acquisition and monitoring component, and then a number of applications for trying to improve the situational awareness that real-time operators of the system have, and providing tools for avoiding blackouts and doing restoration of systems. So software tools that guide the, uh, the control room, the real-time operations, people in electric utility and customers, <coughs> typical customers of ours, but we're happy to say Puget Sound Energy is a customer of ours. They use our system.